What do you feel is a decent amount to spend on a first date? Oh, I don't think it matters. What? You don't think it matters? No. The internet is going to come for you heavily for this. I think these these girls that feel like the date that they take you on defines the man that they chose. They're full of crap. It's absolute BS. I think that it's a woman that's looking for the bigger, better deal that has the audacity to say, I can't believe you want to bring me to the Cheesecake Factory. A lot of these dater, dating scammers that literally go on a date every night just to be able to eat something, you're lucky you're eating tonight because you probably can't afford to do it yourself. These men don't give money. They give bags these days and you can't eat that. So be grateful that you got some food and be grateful that a man put in enough effort to take you somewhere. And that's the problem. I personally feel like that's the problem with today's day and age. Like a lot of men are becoming lazy in dating. They're becoming lazy in the pursuit because there's no appreciation for what they do. And now women have these super high entitlement level thoughts that they deserve to be brought to freaking Bora Bora on their first date. And it's like, who are you to even ask for that? What value have you brought to that man? It's it's audac- It's the audacity it's for the me. It's the audacity for and me, And on darling. top of that, y- you should want to be friends with the person that you're choosing anyway. If I don't like you, I'm not going on a trip with you. I'm sorry, but Instagram photos on... <laughs> no. Homegirl, be grateful that that man put in some effort. And you know what? The more appreciation that you choose, the better treatment you'll get. Bar. That's what I think. Bar. I don't think the amount of money matters. I think that just do something that you like. If that man likes you, you like to go take me salsa dancing. It's free on Wednesday nights before 10 o'clock. And then it's $10 to get in. And I would love that. Buy me a bottle of water because it does get hot and I do sweat, you know, or let's go for a walk in the park. Or let's sit in a car and eat ice cream and talk about aliens, you know, like whatever it may be. But that's because are are you out here just trying to go on nice dates or are you out here trying to get to know a person for partnership in life? I I wish I could just microphone drop. (laughs) I'm serious. You went off. I'm just over here. I'm like, just I frustrated. You, I know you saw how I was looking at you. I was just like, she's just going off. I'm frustrated because women are ruining good men by acting like they deserve more than they do. Damn. A lot of these women out here really don't have nothing coming. Damn. How do you... F- okay. Well, Jesus Christ. At least that was a straight answer. Right. We didn't dance around that one. It is very refreshing to hear a woman who think this way. They are going to call her a pick me for telling the truth and disregard all points made. Social media ruined the dating game to the point that if you put in your best foot forward, they will call it bare minimum. No appreciation whatsoever. That's why a lot of men just don't try anymore and I'm glad a woman said this. The level of entitlement and unrealistic expectations for men when it comes to dating is insane. But as soon as you ask what value a woman is going to bring, all of a sudden they got amnesia. Her perspective questions the current dating culture which often rewards superficial traits over genuine connection and effort. And she's basically advocating for what truly matters in a relationship, like mutual interest, genuine friendship. If more women talk like this, it would encourage men to put in their best effort, knowing that it will be recognized and valued. And maybe this shift could lead to more meaningful and long-lasting relationships. It is high time we snap back to reality and reassess our priorities when it comes to dating. The obsession with superficial qualities and materialistic expectation needs to be replaced with a focus on authentic connections and mutual respect. If both men and women stop valuing genuine effort and real compatibility over fleeting attractions and social media approval, the dating scene can transform significantly. This change of mindset will not only make the dating game better, but also foster healthier and more fulfilling relationships that stand the test of time. But hey, who cares what I gotta say? Let me know what you think in the comments down below.